He knocked me over. Um, I landed on the dog bowl. This one's wife, P. Diddy and Harry. Could this destroy the Sussexes? Hello, I'm H.G. Tudor. As previously explained, there is a legal pleading that has been filed in a court case against P. Diddy, Sean Combs, that alleges a whole range of unpleasant and unsavory and unlawful behaviours which have been likened to him behaving like Jeffrey Epstein. Harry has been mentioned, albeit extremely briefly, in those pleadings as potentially somebody that Sean Combs could enable access to on the basis of gaining sexual favours. Simply put, that to be allowed to undertake his alleged sex trafficking, Sean Combs could then enable people to gain access to various world-famous athletes, artists, pop stars, and international dignitaries, as described, such as Prince Harry. The fact being that if you facilitate what he requires, namely his sex favours, then he'll get you access to people like Harry. In the earlier video, I've explained the various degrees of involvement that Harry might have and how one should recall that this is just a series of allegations contained within a legal pleading. But then it bore further examination as to, is there any relationship that has taken place between Harry and P. Diddy? And still a nurse 281 identified a couple of interesting historic news articles in a post on the subreddit St. This One's Wife, they use her full name, as you know, I do not, which might shed some light into the fact that there has been a pre-existing relationship between Sean Combs and Prince Harry that potentially could add credence to the allegation that if you let P. Diddy get his way, he'll grant you access to people like Prince Harry, that he actually does know Prince Harry, and that he is able, for some as yet unknown reason, to gain such access. That access might just be because he's simply friends with Prince Harry, and there's nothing unsavoury about it whatsoever. Or it might be that Harry has somehow foolishly got himself involved in incidents or in attendance at events where unsavoury things have been happening, and therefore has been, in effect, blackmailed into allowing Sean Coombs to present other people to him by way of access. But what is evident is that there is a pre-existing relationship that exists between Sean Combs. For instance, in the West Australian of the 21st of March 2012, the report states, P. Diddy is hoping to hang out with Britain's Prince Harry when he visits London this year. The rapper met the 27-year-old royal in 2007 while at the concert for Diana in honour of Harry's late mother, the Princess of Wales. Accordingly, they had already met. Diddy is back in the United Kingdom later this year as he is performing a series of shows in London. He is already planning to meet up with the flame-haired prince as he knows Harry will show him a good time. I really can't wait to get to the UK, as London is one of my favourite cities. I'm also hoping I'll get to catch up with Prince Harry while I'm there. He's such a cool guy, and it's about time we hung out, he told British newspaper The Sun. Well, there's no mention of being involved with William, or wanting to hang out with him, but he wants to hang out with Harry because he regards him as a cool guy. Is it the case that Diddy had him in his sights as someone that he could utilise, that a conniving narcissist such as P. Diddy thought, this is a rather dim-witted individual, but he's a famous prince. There'll be certain people who will be excited to meet him. I can leverage that with other people by selling access to him. I need to cultivate my relationship with this royal. The article continues. 
Diddy already has big plans for his royal night out. Harry is renowned for visiting posh nightclubs in the UK capital, and the rapper hopes to accompany him on one of his jaunts. I need him to take me to some of those wild Mayfair clubs, he said. Diddy took to the stage at the concert for Diana, which was held to mark a decade since her death in Paris. He performed his famous track, I'll Be Missing You, and dedicated it to the late princess. Ten years ago, Princess Diana went to a better place, he said. Today we celebrate her life and I dedicate this song to her. Harry is known as a fan of hip-hop music. When his brother Prince William announced his engagement to Kate Middleton, Harry reportedly tried to arrange for Snoop Dogg to play at their celebratory party. Snoop responded by penning a track called Wet to be played at William's bachelor party, although it included rather risque lyrics. Thus, P. Diddy had already met Prince Harry and he wanted to hang out with him again. A further article that has been provided comes in relation to Prince Harry's stag do. The Daily Star reported back on the 3rd of December 2017, Prince Harry stag do. P. Diddy lined up to perform at Boozy Bash with mates. The royal is expected to have a boozy night with friends before he marries this one's wife in the spring. We can reveal Diddy has come up with the perfect present, a performance at Harry's bachelor party. In an exclusive chat with the Daily Star Sunday, the rapper, also known as Puff Daddy, Puffy, Sean Combs and now Brother Love, vowed to rap at the bash. He said, Everybody needs a bachelor party, even a prince. I met William and Harry at a concert and they told me they were both big rap fans. My gift to him would be to form at his bachelor party. And, believe me, we can party like it is his last night of freedom. Harry's engagement made headlines around the world last week. New York-born Diddy, 48, was thrilled when he heard. He said, It's incredible news. I am happy for Prince Harry. Falling in love is always great. Harry, 33, has had a party boy reputation for years. He was once a regular at London's top nightclubs and was once pictured wearing a Nazi uniform at a pal's fancy dress party. Five years ago, photos emerged of him naked during a game of strip billiards at a Las Vegas hotel. Royal author Duncan Larcombe reckons his past antics have helped him make him so popular with fans. He said, His vulnerabilities endear him to people, and he wears his heart on his sleeve, unlike his older brother, who seems to be taking life far too seriously. Harry Stagdew is expected to be early next year, ahead of a May wedding. Thus, it looks like P. Diddy was lined up to perform. So there's clearly connections between Sean Combs and Prince Harry. But it might just be as simple as he likes his music and that they had met and hung out. But beyond that, there was nothing more. And that it was simply a wild boast of Sean Combs that he could grant access to Prince Harry because, hey, I know him. Remember, given the fact that Sean Combs is a narcissist, it is entirely conceivable that he would make a boast, perhaps beyond his actual capabilities, with regard to his reach. Sure, yeah, I can hook you up with this person, that person, close personal friends. Remember that the narcissist engages in such magical thinking. But then again, given the nature of the allegations that Mr Jones has put in relation to Sean Combs, it appears that given his wealth and his behaviours, that he wasn't beyond utilising leverage in order to get to other people. Therefore, it may just be an entirely innocent relationship between Harry and Sean Combs, but there is a problem. Sean Combs has already been involved in various unsavoury acts. He faces a host of fresh allegations. And even for Harry to have some potential link to them means that there'll be those that will look at it in a distasteful manner. There might be more evidence that shows a stronger connection. There might be more evidence that shows the reason that Sean Combs is able to offer this access to Prince Harry is because, basically, Harry is beholden to him not being particularly sharp, being rather dim-witted, might be the case. Again, it's a possibility, 
as opposed to a certainty, that Harry has found himself in a situation of being compromised. After all, it happened to his uncle, didn't it? So it wouldn't be beyond the realms of possibility that Harry similarly could have found himself being tricked, outmaneuvered, ensnared by the behaviour of the narcissist that is Sean Combs. It remains to be seen the nature of the relationship that the two have, but there is a relationship there. They've met one another at least on three occasions, and it would go beyond that of just a formal relationship, but instead of hanging out together, the way that Sean Combs has spoken about him suggests that it's a case of throwing back the booze and getting on together. Whether this has led to something more unscrupulous, only time will tell. But it has the potential to be particularly damaging for the Sussexes, because if these allegations against Sean Combs proven, are proven, and that there is an implication of involvement with Prince Harry, then that would mean that there is a particular stain upon the House of Sussex to have that affiliation to someone who's accused and possibly might even be proven in a civil court to have been involved in sex trafficking, spiking people with drugs, sexual assaults, etc. That would mean that various organisations would want to distance themselves very quickly from such tainted individuals and it could have the potential to unravel them. After all, look at what has happened to Prince Andrew. He hasn't been convicted of anything. He hasn't received a civil judgment against him. He was seen in a photograph, the veracity of which has been contested. He has had allegations made against him by Virginia Giuffre. We know that he was friends with Epstein and also with Maxwell, but he wasn't actually convicted of anything or found liable of anything in a court and look at the impact it had upon him. Loss of patronages, loss of his HRH title, having to pay, in, a, in essence, hush money of millions of pounds, and having to retreat from public life. And that was just because of allegations levelled against him. Now, Harry isn't accused of any wrongdoing, but there is a suggestion that he has some form of relationship with an individual who has engaged in wrongdoing. Furthermore, there is a suggestion that somehow this individual is able to grant access to Harry, which then raises questions about why is he able to do that? Is it simply based off being chums? Is it a wild boast from Sean Combs? Or is there something more sinister behind it, which means that he can compel that involvement of Prince Harry and guarantee access? Such speculation, of course, would prove problematic for the Sussexes. The attempts to portray themselves as whiter than white, as a philanthropic, charitable couple, would really come unstuck, getting involved in allegations such as these surrounding Sean Combs. And what might be an entirely innocent like of hip-hop, and simply hanging out with this individual in the past, may well come back to bite him on the backside as a consequence of the allegations against Sean Combs, and then the impact it has upon the House of Sussex. What you can be sure of is that if it gains legs, if it gains any form of substance, that this one's wife will be looking to distance herself from it considerably, and it would hasten the disengagement of Harry. This is because this one's wife would regard subconsciously such allegations as a threat to control, that she would want to blame Harry, as she has done in the past, witness her behaviour around spare, and therefore she would want to say, nothing to do with me, I'm not with him, he's the one that's in the ick, I'm not, I've distanced myself from him. The necessity of her self-preservation will certainly loom large. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.